Hey guys, um, just in the car, about to drop off some uh, rubbish, as you can see. Yeah, property investing, being a landlord, it, it's pretty hands-on, um, you know, there's no doubt about it. Anyway, I wanted to make a, a quick video with regards to buying properties to live in, so residential property purchases. Now, this will be for yourself um, or your family, um, your partner, whatever it is. Um, this is to buy to live in. Um, now, my, my view on this is that unless you've got a very specific reason you should always treat property purchases, sorry, unless you've got a specific reason or unless you, uh, unless it's like a forever home where um, the financial element of it isn't really important, it's, you set it down, that's your forever home, that's where you want to raise your family, you're not planning to move on, you only plan to downscale after that, that that's, that's a separate thing. So with regards to buying properties that isn't a forever home, and unless you've got a specific reason to, then you should always treat that property purchase as an investment decision, as an investment opportunity. And this really applies to the first time buyers and the second time, or the, the movers. Um, so basically, if you're a first time buyer for a residential property for you or your family, your spouse, your partner to live in, or you're buying your second home, i.e. moving from the first home into the second home, always treat process always treated as an investment opportunity and, and that's really important and the reason for this is that you need that income you need that property to go up in value it needs to be a sensible and a shrewd investment because you need that money you need to be released the money from there to be able to help you progress up the property ladder now, now I get it you know when we're young I've been there we buy we're impulsive we, we make emotional decisions Decisions. You know, we want that lifestyle. Or, you know, we'll much rather buy a one or two bed flat in the city centre just for the lifestyle, for convenience, all that sort of stuff. You know, um, and it will just it will cost ridiculous amounts. They're generally really bad investments. Uh, we're paying out all these things, and it won't go up in value as much. But for the same money or less, we can buy a three bed house somewhere else, not as exciting, but really holds its value and will go up in value. And that's just an example. That's an example. Obviously, you're young, you know, whatever. Buy a property, wherever you want to buy it. Live that lifestyle. Be young and enjoy yourself. But make sure you understand that when you buy that property, it has to make financial sense. It has to be an investment. So you have to see it from an investment point of view. That property, you have to put a mortgage, pay it down if you can, and then try to release equity from it for your next purchase. That's really, really, really important. Hope it's been helpful.